Welcome back everyone, I am The Executioner and today we're going to talk about the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Kyle Rittenhouse defended himself last year from three rioters, one armed with a handgun, one armed with a blunt object, a skateboard, and the other one trying to use physical force to lunge towards Kyle's gun. These three individuals, we have found out, are actually felons and they have had extensive criminal records in the past. So what they have presented themselves as the saints of the media and what the media has presented them as is absolutely not true. Rosenbaum raped a nine-year-old and the other people involved are not exactly the example of stand-up citizens. It got so bad that the guy who pulled a handgun on Kyle Rittenhouse ended up admitting that he had an expired LTC and that he wasn't supposed to be carrying that night, according to the law. However, Antifa and the left will make it out to be that Kyle shouldn't have been carrying that night, even though Kyle was separated from the main group who was protecting a gas station at the time. It reminds me of a meme where you see an Antifa member with a Molotov cocktail and a baseball bat saying, he can't carry, that's illegal, even though they are burning down a whole entire city. These people that you see in the video, these rioters, definitely show that they are rioters. They are not protesters, as the media has tried to make them out to be. They are not Black Lives Matter protesters. They were definitely rioters. They were pushing dumpsters towards the gas station as barriers, as cover, and they were fully intent on robbing that gas station. However, there were armed individuals at the gas station that did deter them at the time. Now, Rosenbaum is one of the people in this case that is very noteworthy because Rosenbaum had said to a bunch of the militia members earlier that night that if he caught them alone, he would kill them. And in fact, he said to one of the militia members, and Kyle Rittenhouse was actually there to hear it, he said, pardon my uh, language here, uh, Rosenbaum used some very racially charged language, he said, quote, shoot me nigga, shoot me, end quote. So this man right here is not an example of a prime stand-up protester. He was in fact inducted into a mental institution uh, not even a year earlier and he had been released during COVID. He was a ticking mental case, essentially. This trial has gone so bad in the prosecution's uh, area that it is grounds for a mistrial. There are a bunch of Brady violations right here. Uh, the police did not collect the viable amount of evidence that could vindicate Kyle in this case. And all the public servants that have been in this case, that are the prosecutions, have just presented a dishonest picture of Kyle Rittenhouse. In fact, the prosecutor tried using Kyle's arrest silence against him, which I believe for the past 50 years has been illegal. You cannot do that in a court of law. You have a constitutional right to your silence and it cannot be used in a court of law against you. So even if you don't agree that Kyle is innocent, you could admit that the prosecution at every turn at this trial has just failed at doing their jobs. They've used violent video games to try to get into the mind of Kyle Rittenhouse when that is irrelevant to the trial. It has led to so many memes out there that it's just absolutely hilarious. Caricatures of the prosecution, how ridiculous they're looking, and essentially Twitter is going nuts over this. In my own honest opinion, Kyle Rittenhouse is innocent. If you look at all the videos in question, he was being chased by Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum had been trying to reach for his gun. There have been previous threats by Rosenbaum earlier in that night. And a crowd of people was chasing after Kyle after Rosenbaum got shot. And what happened was these two individuals that were chasing after Kyle, they tried reaching for his gun. The other one tried taking a skateboard and hitting his neck. Now, a skateboard is a very heavy object. It's made out of wood. It's made out of metal with the uh, metal wheels. And it can definitely cause some damage. So... Is it so wrong that Kyle Rittenhouse shot the person with a weapon? No, because that could have caused some serious damage towards him. So that was a valid reason for him to fear for his life. The other individual with the handgun, on the other hand, had 
pointed the weapon at Kyle, trying to pretend to surrender, but instead pointed the gun at Kyle. So, in fact, that's another reason for Kyle to fear for his life. In my honest opinion, this is a clear example of self-defense. This trial has just been a kangaroo court, and this whole case should have been thrown out days ago. The prosecution just failed at doing their job, and they're just so dishonest at this point that Binger should not serve in the court system ever again. He should be barred from practicing law. It astounds me he even passed the legal exam. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe. If you like it, share it around. Ring the bell so you're always notified. And remember, guys, to stay free.